Hey guys, it's me, and I have a theory for you about one of my favorite books, The Cat in the Hat, and how it might eat people load by a book that I haven't read yet, but it's by another one of my favorite authors, Dr. Susan Roald Dahl kind of shares that spotlight, which is... And followed by the story of Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, so here's the theory. So after the... Okay, so here's my theory. The kid who narrates Cat in the Hat, who the wiki page calls him Sally's brother, the animated movie that's the closest one calls him Dick. But yeah, we're gonna call him Sally's brother. Um... <laughs> Sally's brother, the boy from Witches, and MC from Doki Doki Literature Club, which stands for main character, are all the same guy. So, here's the theory. After the events of Cat in the Hat, the boy decides to spend time with his and Sally's grandma, who, um... Hard to keep a straight face. Who, um... Tells him about witches. They encounter some witches. The one witch turns him into a cat. It's, I mean, no, not a cat. A mouse. And then later when they defeat the witches, he's still... He never turns back. This is because in the book he didn't turn back and the movie added that in the ending. But then the cat finds him, and before he eats them, he realizes he's the same boy he met when it, when he was breaking and entering at this random house, and decides to turn him back into a boy. Um, and then, so, well, he's free to go about his life, where he meets Sayo this girl named Sayori, who's a... who's... He just who he later becomes friends with, not knowing she has a dark past and that she's in love with him. Or later, and he doesn't know that there is this dark entity that somehow made it into their universe. So that was my theory. Comment below what you thought about it and like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time. Bye.